Hi, my name is Kate White. I am a fashion portrait and beauty photographer from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm super excited to get more into the education space, so please make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below if there's something in particular that you want me to cover. I've also got a Facebook group called Shooting Beauty with Kate White that you are welcome to join. I will leave the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this educational. So over the years, a lot of people have asked me how I created this double exposure effect composite in Photoshop, and I've never actually done the tutorial, so I thought I would do that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the originals of either of these photos because of a hard drive crash that was very sad. Anyway, um, I've got a similar photo and uh, some stock images that I've got today that I'm going to just put together um, in a similar way so that you can see how I did it. So I've got this photo here open of my beautiful model I catch and it's really great to work with images with a lot of contrast so either maybe someone with darker skin or uh, maybe a silhouette where your subject is backlit so that um, the subject is darker and the background can be easily uh, taken out of the image. So here we go, we're starting with this. Um, actually, one of the really useful tools that Photoshop just made a lot better is the select subject. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the subject here, uh, which does a pretty good job for what we want at the moment. So I'm gonna add a mask, um, and then that gets rid of the background entirely. I'm going to create a new layer here and just uh, fill it with white. So now the, the background is completely white. Um, we don't need any color. I'm not gonna do a color image with this, so I'm going to go ahead and desaturate this image um, and then maybe add a little bit more contrast with curves. There we go. Um, so a little bit of detail is visible, but uh, not a ton. I'm also going to expand um, the background a little bit so we have a little bit more room to play with and expand this white as well. So some images I've found here that are, you know, similar to what I used um, are this here. Um, we've got these lovely ripple effects in the water and it kind of fades to a lighter color at the bottom so that's really important. Um, I'm just going to and also desaturate it and I'm going to set the blending mode to screen. I'm also going to add a little bit more contrast with curves. The idea is here that we want quite a lot of contrast. We want to kind of actually lose the bottom of the water. Um, this isn't particularly important. I mean, I might lighten a little bit more later, but just to give us the general idea. Now we just have to play around with placement, kind of like these ripples here, that looks really nice. Um, and then I'm going to add a mask and get rid of the top part of this image. I actually don't really want this either. And because I kind of want the bottom part to just disappear, I'm actually going to use the dodge tool here and just um, lighten a little bit more of the image so that we kind of actually lose this bottom part. She looks a little bit more like she's floating. I might just move this around. I'm going to unlock this layer and move it over just slightly. I kind of like this little part here. Yeah, I like that. So just continue to dodge a little bit more so that we lose this like little line here. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so now we're gonna add some trees. Wish I had the same photo that I used for Anich, but unfortunately I don't.
And then I'm gonna set the blend mode to screen and I'm gonna get rid of the color, desaturate here. And then we just have to play with placement. I think it's a little bit darker on this side, so I'm actually going to flip this image. Well, maybe not. Um, but I'm gonna adjust the curves to give us a little bit more contrast. Here, just, I don't wanna completely lose the top of her head, but just a little bit I think is nice. And then you just kinda of have to see where it looks good. And because I don't really want um, the trees to be visible on her face, I'm going to actually add another mask here and just kind of slowly start painting painting them out so you, you kind of get the side of her face as well and you don't want any like weirdness on the on her actual skin. And any little areas down here that I don't want. So yeah, there you go. That is pretty much how I did the original um, uh, image of a niche. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much.